hello guys welcome to this tutorial i'll be showing me this beautiful kimono jacket it has satin on the neckline as the belt and also on the sleeve and it's well lined on the inside so if it's something you'd like to make for yourself kindly watch to the end make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment so guys this is what we'll be needing for the tutorial so on my table i have my measurement divided by 4 plus 6 inches then this is the length of the cloth i'm making so i just drew that line to start our starting point then i measure from the line to my I'm old then to my waist and to my hip so I just rule that line across rule it across then I measure my shoulder me uh, measurement then I rule that then I take in my neck width and neck depth three inches each then I go down by one inch and I just connect that then I go down on this point I'm going by 0 0.5 inch and yeah measure my bust measurement and I just use my arm up off to connect so just watch closely so that's my my waist divided by four then I added three inches extra to it then I'll just connect that together then I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect that point to the to make a flare then the next thing I'm going to do is just to make a curve around that area and also add seam allowance round so I'm just going to add my seam allowance round then I'll cut 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 and cut now I'm going to add another fabric on the table, then just copy what I had there and just copy it on that table on, on the fabric again. It's on a fold. So I'll go in by one inch and just connect that together. And I'm going to like connect that one inch is because we are adding like color, which is going to make sense soon. So I'm, this is the one I'm working with for my front. So I'll go in by one inch, going by one inch, going by one inch, and I'm just going to do that line, then connect like this and make my v-neck and just cut that part because that part that's where the satin will be. So now I want to cut my sleeve and this is what I have on the table. I'm measuring my sleeve length minus 2 inches. Then I'm just going to like connect that together and cut. So this is what we have. I fold it into 4. Then rule that line. So just take the flare as much as you want. I'll go down by 3 inches and just rule. So just watch close. It's actually self-explanatory. And go in by 7 inches and just curve. Curve, curve, curve. This is just a simple sleeve. Just curve. And just connect that to that point. You can actually like times your wrist by 5 to get the flare. That will make sense so i just cut and this is what we have so i'm just going to like trim this is my front so i'm going to like trim the arm or just make sure that it fits well in the front and cut everything that i cut online into including my sleeve so this is what i have and yeah so this is what i have to for the main bodies and now i'm going to put my front my back right side facing me then pin my front to it at the shoulder then just pin and also pin the sides also I'll do the same thing for the other side. If you want this video to be slow, just watch it on my nose. I've actually gone ahead to like sew this point down and also this point. So I didn't add pockets. So I'm going to go down from my hip measurement by 2 inches and just mark my pocket. And I'll put a notch at that point and loosen. So I just losing that point. I just losing that point. So that's what I'm doing. I just marked from my waist. That part that I asked as my waist, I'll go down by 2 inches. That's, that makes sense more. So I'm just going to like make a notch there again and make a notch there and this is what I have. So now I'm making my pocket so I folded that into two then fold it into four. So I'm going to go down by eight, inch, eight inches and just make a curve. And I went to to like make another to make the curve better because it was too small. Just make the curve better, slightly better and and I measured and I cut. The width is seven inches and the length is eight inches. So this is what I have. Sorry, the length is 10 inches, so this is what I have. So I'm just going to like pin that to the notch parts, right side facing each other. And I'm going to do that to the other side, to so right side facing each other. As I was saying, please watch this video in a slower way, like um, there's normal and there's faster and there's the slower point. So just use that on YouTube. So I'll do the same thing here also. I'll do the same thing here also. And on the other side. So we have four pocket bags so i'm just adding it to the back both side on the back and on the front so, so i'm just going to like make a straight stitch make a straight stitch and make a straight stitch after making a straight stitch, stitch i made a top stitch so i'm just going to like pin that together and pin that also together then like pin do the same for the other side also pin 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 i'm just pin that also then i'm going to like sew around my pocket and do the same thing on the other side so around and i'm just going to like turn this out around then do the same thing for my line my line doesn't have pockets so it's straight so this is my sleeve 
right side facing each other so i'm just putting them side by side so i don't know where i'll be trimming for the front so this is what i have so i'm gonna add like mark it so i'm going to like mark my seam allowance so let's mark my seam allowance and sew on it so i'm going in by 0 0.75 inch 0 0.75 inch on both sides then mark on this point i'm going to go in by 0 0.5 inch then i'm just going to make a line and i'm going to sew on that line So I'm going to sew on that line and this seems on this point, sew on this line and also sew on this line. Then I'm done sewing, do the same thing for the lining to so pull it out and yeah, so just trim that point. That was going to be my the part that will be attached to the front side of my jacket. So I'm just going to pin that in place, pin it into the armhole as you can see me do. Match the center to the shoulder and also seam allowance to seam allowance. I'm just going to like pin that in. So I'm pinning right side facing right side. And do the same thing too on the other side. Just pin, 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 pin. And this is what I have. So I'm going to like, I didn't pin that part, so I just pinned it in. This seems on this point soon. Center matching this shoulder. Then pin the seam allowance. So I'm just going to like sew that round and just sew the other side. Do the same thing for the line. So I'm going to go up here by 0 0.5 inch from the down part of the blazer or the jacket rather. Then go in by 0 0.5 inch. This is a jacket, kimono jacket. Then I'm going to measure from that 0 0.5 inch that I went up by. Measure it round to the other 0 0.5 inch. That's going to serve as where our satin is going to be. So I'm just going to like measure that round, round till like I get to the next 0 0.5 inch I measured. So my tape was to around. 70 something sure. so i'm just going to divide that by two what i got divided by to then fold my satin into two then mark that i'm marking a the width of three inches so i'm using 0.5 inches as small allowance i'm just going to like cut that and also cut that make sure it is straight cut it then i'm going to fold that into two fold it into two then i'm going to stitch then i'm, I'm going to stitch where i'm pinning so i'm going to pin make sure you add like little seam allowance i'm going to stitch on this point and I'm also going to stitch on this point also. Then after stitching, I'll just trim that edge down and also use my scissors to push it in. I'll do the same thing for this side also. Then this is what we have. Go ahead and iron it if you can. I did iron mine. So just go ahead and iron that. So now I'm going to mark my center back. I'm going to make a notch then make a notch so on the center of my satin then i'm just going to like pin that round pin center back to the center point of my satin strip and i'm just going to like pin that in place all true so notice it's going to stop at that 0 0.5 mark that we made just keep pinning make sure you stop at that 0 0.5 mark that we made but that part is going to like turn it around so almost turn the down part so so this is why i have just sew it round 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 so you get to this point can you see the allowance so this is what we have after sewing so now we're going to be using our lining to turn it in so now we're going to pull actually like you don't need to actually pull right side but well let's just watch closely and get this thing so now right side facing me i'm going to pull it right side facing me it didn't work that way so i'm just pulling my right side this is my wrong side of my lining pull it out then the right side of my fabric put it into the right side of my lining do you get like the right side of my fabric put into the right side of my line so now we have wrong side facing each other so now i'm going to push the satin in then pin in place pin shoulder to shoulder neckline to neckline just pin it in a way that everything is nice and well put together so i'm just going to like pin that with my back neckline i'm going to pin in the shoulders then um, the shoulder seam too pin it like pin. make sure that the satin is in the middle and you're not sewing over the satin and make sure you sew on your on fabric itself not on your line so you can see the lines very well so you won't um so wrongly like just sew on the line so you just follow the same line that you made earlier that you used to like attach the satin so just make sure you pin and yeah 
So after pinning, just keep pinning, shall I? Just make sure you pin. Just keep pinning. So now on this point that we have our um, seam allowance, just pin the lining also to the that's the, the seam, the M line. Just pin that point to the M line. So I just pin that side and I go went to the to the other side of my jacket and keep pinning too. So it's just basically pin, I just keep pinning. So now when you get to this point, when you get to this point, then pin because we're not going to get like well. So now the M line just pin also pin line into match them together, side seam match. Make sure everything is well aligned so you don't like make mistake and well just keep pinning. And so on this point, then so so this way, then you curve, then you sew on this line, then keep sewing till you get to the other side of the jacket. Then you just make so I'm done sewing now. This is what I have. So I'm just like trim that corner and also trim the other corner also. Trim the other corner, then make notch around that area so we can like easily turn and also when we iron, it's going to like lay flat you just make notches around that point then you turn I'm using my sleeve to like turn it out so just turn um, don't worry don't be scared just turn then this is why I have arranged your sleeve back into where they are supposed to be. Arrange your other sleeve and look at what we have. It's so neat. Like we can't see any seam on the inside. So this is what we have. Neat and beautiful. So now you can go ahead and iron if you want to. But me, I won't be ironing. So now we are attaching the satin to on the sleeve. So um, this is my sleeve. I'm just going to like measure from that point round. So to know the amount of satin I'll be cutting. So this is what I have 26 inches then I'll divide my 26 inches by two so I can like cut so I'm just gonna like fold my fabric into two then divide my 26 inches by two then I'll have 13 inches then I'll have 0.5 inches my allowance then I go I went in and I measured my folded and I had six inches then I'm going to fold that into two I'm doing the same thing for the other side too, just to be sure right just to be sure so it gave me the same thing, so I'm just going to like do the same thing again, then measure and cut. So this is what I have, six inches, and now my the width of my band because I'm folding by two is six inches, and I'm just going to like for the strap to around the neck, so it's the same six inches that we use, but when you fold it, it becomes three inches. So yeah, I'm just putting that out there so not to confuse people. So now I'm just going to fold this into two and then stitch, stitch it this way. Then do the same thing for this part also. Pin, then stitch. Then stitch it this way and stitch this one this way. And now I'm done stitching and this is what we have. Then I'm going to like measure it and yeah, it's exactly what I want. So I'm going to fold it. Open the center. Make sure you iron if you want to. Then join that line together, like this line. You can trim it off. 
right it in so just join it together and this is what you have make sure you iron to make it lay flat arrange very well and iron so this is what you have to do the same for the other one so open the same allowance then fold like yeah fold like a band this is what we have so now we're attaching this band now to our sleeve so i'm just trimming those loose um loose thread so i'm just going to like pin from i will use that my band the same allowance to the same allowance on my on my sleeve i'm just going to attach that together then attach this point also same allowance and just pin it round just keep pinning then so round and do the same for this point also pin same allowance to same allowance and yeah and so round so you so round and also so round we are almost done then after sewing it round we are done with the jacket actually just sew it round and yeah that is what we have i'm done sewing it round and this is what i have it looks neat you can go ahead and use a um, muslin i'm going to ahead and sedge you use your sedge to like sedge or with the inside so it will look neat because i did that also when i was done when i was ready to like create that was when i when i was ready to like deliver it to my client that's when i did that so go ahead and iron that part also see how neat it looks really neat and cool so now we'll be cutting the belt so this is the belt the belt i'm working with is i divided i times my waist measurement by four so that gave me the belt measurement i'm working so my waist is sorry my waist measurement times three my waist is 24 so i the waist that i'm working with rather was 24 so i times it by three this this outfit was actually not for me so that's why i couldn't get pictures or wear it for my thumbnail so the width of the band um, or the belt is six inches so when i fold it when i sew it on the fold it's going to become three inches like we did everything every starting we measured was six inches so i'm just going to like cut this out and also cut this point out then cut this, this is not up to my it's not up to the waist measurement i'm working with or the belt length i'm working with i'm going to join together just to give me like a full length because i have i had shortage of satin so i'm going to like measure this again six inches and do this six inches again then we am going to root that down the straight line Yeah, I'm going to trim. Then I'm just going to like divide that into two because it was the only fold. Then I'm going to trim that down. I don't really like seeing that on clothes. I'm just going to like trim it down and then trim this point down. I don't even know why I even did that, but well, let's see. So join right side to right side then pin. If you have like a straight strap, good. But I didn't have such so like join, so I didn't. Want, I wanted the joining not to look very obvious. So this is what I have. So I'm measuring my waist to see what to, I'm measuring the waist rather to see what I'm going to have left. I'm going to say for myself. So whenever I have clients, it's always like my 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 clothes. So I'm going to stitch that down, and also this is what we have. So I'm going to like join this so this point then so 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 then leave like an opening I'm going to mark that as an opening then so to another point like leave that part open leave this point open like three inches is okay so leave it open then fold this other side again right side facing each other then pin then pin then sew to that point sew to this point and stop at that opening right so you can have like a well arranged side so just sew to this point and stop at this opening. Just make sure you leave about two inches or three inches open. And this seems like that. I don't know. I'm repeating this so you guys can like understand very well. So, so it's about three inches. So just make sure you like sew. I'm just if you want to like pin. I'm just pin that point. So I'll tell myself that when I get there, I'm going to sew over my pin. So yeah. So I just went to my sewing machine and I did that. So I'm going to cut the edge. Cut the edge. Then use that opening to like. Turn it in some ways, like this open it, like turn it in. Take your time here so you won't break your stitch. Just 
they just keep pulling and pulling and pulling make sure you do the same thing to the other side also once you are done with this take it to your own table and iron very well because it's satin it's not going to lay flat if you don't iron I'm going to do for the other side, so make sure you iron. I've ironed this point and I've ironed it also. I ironed everything and everything is looking so beautiful. And I've ironed it. So you can go ahead and just use your aiming glue to like glue that point. So don't be like a seam. Or if you want to use um invisible stitch to like stitch it down, that's good. But I used aiming glue to glue it down. There was not this over by hard. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I hope I gave value in this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you got value from this video, kindly subscribe, leave a comment, like, share with your friends that enjoy sewing also and make one for yourself.